Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button and like and share. I'm about to head out to the driving range and test out my driver and I'm going to see how the launch angle affects the distance. And I'm going to test it out with this bad boy here I just got. It's the Voice Caddy Swing Caddy SC300 and uh, I'm excited to see what it's going to do and see what the numbers, uh, how they affect the distance. It was my distance with my driver. It's good, I'm accurate, but I'm looking to gain more yardage and I know my swing speed is around 100, 101 and I'm looking to see where my launch angle is because I'm, I'm around, probably around 10 to 10 and a half and I want to see if I up that number if my distance will increase. So I'm going to mess around with ball position. Uh, also, I'm going to change uh, alignment and, and where the ball is placed at in the stance. I'm going to use a little bit of the Mo Norman uh, method to driving and see how that affects the launch angle. And we're going to put a camera on, on the voice caddy so you can see the numbers as I hit. So that should be interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and start hitting some drivers and see how the, the numbers work out. Okay, I'm going to try it inside my left heel like normal. All right, let's see what happens here. Yeah, about 101 miles an hour. Okay, so my launch angle, 9.9. .9, so that's a little low. So that's telling me I could probably move it up in my stance some more and maybe get that launch angle a little bit more up and have me swing it up on a little bit more. So I carry 251. It's about right. I usually get about 275, 280 with the rollout. Okay. So this is what I want to see. I want to see... You know, if I, if I don't change my uh, swing speed, you know, but I change that ball position, I change my launch angle, let's see if it carries further. That's what's going to be interesting. I'm going to put it more up in my stance here. I'm going to exaggerate. I gotta, I'm going to probably move this four or five inches. I'm going to put the club head back like Mo Norman did, and I should catch it more on the upswing here, and let's see what that does to the numbers here. to gain five yards, uh, launch angle is still too low. So I need, I'm gonna play it up even further. So, uh, all right, let's try it again. Uh, all right, this time let's, I'm gonna move the ball position more forward to get my launch angle up. I'm gonna try to get up closer to around 12, 13 degrees versus that 10. So I'm gonna put it more forward in my stance. I'm gonna close my stance a little bit here. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, I hit that one good. All right, launch angle went up to 14.6. Uh, also, my swing speed went up to 105. All right, smash back to 1.52. All right. Could be something to that, huh? Well, obviously there is, because those long drive guys, they play it, they come back, they swing way up on it. You gotta get that spin right. And that long, you gotta get that launch angle right. So let's try it again. So that last time, that was my best numbers. I had a close stance, ball way forward, club head, you know, eight to 12 inches back. And I definitely called it more on the upswing. So I closed my feet, okay. So let's get more here. I think I have more here. Okay, all right, let's see what happens. All right, not bad. Hey, I improved. All right, so it's telling me, you know, this is good. This is good to have this out here. Ten and a half. That's not the one before was 14.5. So I want to try to get more to that 14 to get my maximize my my distance here. All right, so let's do even more. I thought I did more, but all right, so here we go. Let's go right here. Okay, let's see what happens. Close stance. All right, so all right, not so much on that one. 
caught it. I gotta play around with this. Let's try one more. I'm gonna see it up a little higher. So I catch this more on the upswing than what I'm doing. Okay, stay behind it. I definitely felt like I stayed more behind that ball, and I definitely caught it more on the up. So 11 on my launch angle. All right, this is good. This is uh, something I can play around with. I'm definitely going to work towards that because I'm not an overly long hitter, but I want to, just like a lot of us, I want to match hit it somewhat straight when I play because I'm, I'm a pretty straight hitter but not overly long. But I would like to be able to have, you know, those par fives, if I wanted to go after it, you know, give it that, I could get 20 more yards of carry. That'd be awesome to have in the bag. So I'm going to play around with this setup here and look at my numbers and check it out. But this could be a way for you at home, you know, to get out on the range if you have a launch monitor, um, just to check out and see what kind of results you're getting. Not just your uh, swing speed, but the launch angle. So launch angle creates, uh, it does a lot for how far the ball goes too. So, you know, have fun with it. This is definitely fun for me. It's a day and age where you want to maximize your yardage if you can and keep it, you know, pretty much straight. So for more great videos and blogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.